I said, oh, I, I packed this bowl for two. I said, oh, I, I packed this bowl for two. We're flying high now, I'm flying high, and I cannot feel the ground. Like something, gonna sit back, relax, make sure the gun just packed, and we'll feel alright. There's a little solo in there. Right, this is a great song, guys. This is, this is a fucking cool song. Um, starting off early with the swearing. All right. Not for kids, everybody. Um, we are looking at Bull for Two by The Expendables on their album. I think it came out in 2004. Getting filthy. Not necessarily the uh, title of an album that I'd, ex I'd expect from a song or from an album that has this song on there, but I know I've never I've never heard Stoner. It's been like, yo, we're getting filthy, man. And that I don't, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, getting filthy. No, okay, sorry. Bowl for two. That is what we're doing. Um, this pretty much has like four parts to it. It has our little intro. It has a main chorus or a main chord line that literally is our verse and our chorus and everything and then we have a bridge and then a solo so let's just jump on into this we have our beginning so what we're doing here uh just to before we get into the riff no we'll we'll, we'll jump into the riff so it starts on a the third fret of our low e and then, here, I'll turn up just a little bit. I don't know. Hopefully that's coming through well. Uh, so we're gonna go third fret low E and then open A string. Back to the third fret on E. Open A, and then we're gonna hammer on and pull off the second fret. Back to the third fret E. So. G, A, G, hammer on, pull off, G. And then, so, and then we're going to go open A2, so, and then we're going to do open D, and then go back to 2 on the A, and then hammer and pull off 2 to the D, so, Forgot where we left off there because that's this is a lot. I, this is the first riff I've really gotten over, guys. Give me a break. So three on the E, A, open A, three on the E, hammer on pull off two on the A, three on the E, open A, and then I like doing that little open A hammer on a two, open D, back to two on the A, hammer on pull off two on the D, two on the A. And then now we hit an E minor chord. And so to kind of like get that real nice sound. So like if, if you're new to playing electric guitar or a guitar in general, this, you can find it on an acoustic as well. On acoustic, it, it, it's much easier to uh, hear it because you know on electric, we have pickups that can control what's picking up what. Um, but like if, if you're strumming your guitar here in the middle, it sounds a little softer. You sound, if you play it, here, I'll put it, so these are my pickups that are on right here, right? My, my neck pickups, yeah. Um, it's gonna sound real smooth the further you are down here in the neck. If you're here, you know, you can kind of hear it a little more individually. And if you go back here, it gets very brassy, right? And so, um, I that's what I hear them doing with these E minor chords. They're going right back here. They're getting real close to their bridge and just giving that E minor a big strum, right? So riff, oops. And I, I did a little two on the D real, right, right there real quick. That's our E note. And then I did an E minor strum. So they do that four times and on the second and fourth E minor, there's another guitar that's doing harmonics on the 12th fret of our G, B, and E. 
And I know us guitarists love an excuse to do some harmonics, so don't be afraid to do that. Sounds really cool, right? So try that. Now, that is our intro. So we have our main chord progression that literally gets us through chorus and verse. And so we can really think of this, it's two bars. Bar one is gonna go G, B minor, each one of those get two counts. And then we're gonna go for bar two, an E minor for four. And because this is reggae, we wanna strum on the and. So one and, two and, three and, four and. So those ands are we wanna hear the chord. And it's okay to like get that bass. Like that's totally fine, but we want to hear those. The like main chord, those high, those high more uh, treble parts of the chord, those we want to hear on the ands of the beat, right? So we're gonna go G for two, B minor for two, E minor for four. So we're gonna go one and two. Um, and if this is like your first time kind of doing some reggae, um, you can do the ups or you can do those downs. I, for some reason, really like doing downs on reggae. I know a lot of people and a lot of lessons on YouTube will say go up. Um, I just found going down easier. I don't know why, but like I said, you can do the ups, you can do your downs. To me, it doesn't really matter as long as you're doing it on the amp. Of the beat. That's all that matters to me, personally. But I'm also not a guitar teacher. So, um, but yeah, those will get you through everything. That literally will, like I said, get you through verse and chorus. So, we have a little bridge. Um, oh, shoot, what are the lyrics for it? Oh, this is gonna bother me. And I remember that we got this one nut, this frosty purple nug, and it's big enough for two. I said, I said, I. I can't remember the first three lines before that, though. Damn it. Um, but so the first three lines are just two chords. We get a new one in here. Uh, C. So, oh, please don't run away when my ganja's all gone. So it's going to go C, two, three, four, E minor for four. One, two, three, four, one. Um, and sometimes the C's are kind of strummed, like the, and then, you know, the, the singing is, please don't run away. And then when they kind of do that little faster talking on the E minor, or the faster singing, you kind of go back to that reggae play a little bit, that reggae. And that happens on the first one where you kind of give it that C chord one big strum. And then after that, we just kind of play it just normal, Reggae. So it's gonna go C, E minor, C, E minor, C, E minor. And the last time through, when I got this one nug, this frosty purple nug, and it's big enough for her to. That goes C to D. And that is it. That is all the main parts to this. Um, so now we can talk about the solo a little bit. I'm not gonna get too in deep on this, uh, but it is just E minor pentatonic. G major pentatonic, whichever one you want to think about it. Um, two little things that I really like to do in this song. Um, and it's kind of a little bit of a jazz thing to do, but if we're up here on our 12th fret, in that pentatonic, I like kind of going a half step down on 12, 11, 12 on our G, B, and E string. Ah. And you can go into that 14th fret to really get that, um, it's, that 14th fret's gonna sound cool on that high E because that is the fifth of our B chord. So it, it sounds really nice. Da -da 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 -da. And then when you go up to the 15th, that's the minor third of E minor, right? So. That's one thing I really like to do. Um, it's just kinda, adds an interesting little sound in there. I think it sounds cool. Um, 
But then, like I said, after that, E minor pentatonic. Um, and then the one other thing that I want to say, so if you're down here in this kind of shape, with the chord progression ending on an E minor, to really kind of get chord tones, you know, this ninth fret on our G is an E note. And, you know, a lot of the times when we do bends, we, uh, in, in our pentatonic, especially right here, we usually are doing them like right here or here. Um, and right there, but a sneaky one here to kind of get that E note to kind of bend that I feel like a lot of people overlook is going to the seventh fret on our G and bending that up a whole step. And that's because we're just bending it into an E, right? Just kind of cool. I don't know. Like I said, it's just kind of a forgotten, I feel like, kind of bend. Um, so yeah, guys, that is Bowl for Two by The Expendables. Did I ever say that at the beginning? I don't know. I know I started talking about the album. Anyways, uh, yeah, guys, that is Bowl for Two. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you learned it. I know that's the key reason you watched this. So hopefully you learned this, it made sense. Um, answered your questions maybe. Uh, but yeah, uh, please leave any comments, questions, concerns, requests down below. Thanks for watching guys, I do appreciate it. Uh, hopefully I see you again next week and happy jamming.